Coordinated Universal Time podcast for now. This post has a text mirror on the blog. Back in 2010 or so, a friend sent me a link to the double helix of audio and text that is Adam Harper's ontology post. It remains perhaps the single most influential hyperlink ever sent my way. It changed my life in three ways. First, it opened my mind to underexplored realms of communication. Harper writes, Here, you can listen to this blog post as spoken word and together with the musical examples. This doesn't include the areas about visual art. It remains one of my most inspiring examples of multimedia communication ever. Second, aside from the brilliance of the production value, the content was a revelation. My music has always verged on hauntological, but I didn't yet know it. Suddenly, my art was validated, and I was inspired to continue developing my practice. I was working in a tradition of sorts. Other people were feeling the same things I was feeling. It is quite possible I would have given up had I not found this post. One of the key points from art and fear is learning how to not give up. Finally, the post introduced me to Mark Fisher. If you know, you know. If you don't know, please explore his work. I can never do him justice with a piety summary here. So, in the spirit of community, of not giving up, of optimism and of curiosity, Coordinated Universal Time is a podcast created by myself and several other artists, writers, musicians, researchers, and similar internet folk. I'm presently armed with a field recorder on the shore of the Fox River in northern Illinois. That lovely uh, ASMR you hear is motorboats um, cruising down the river and perhaps even some waves lapping up on the beach. There goes a pontoon boat with uh, probably a dozen people, probably all hammered. They waved at me. I couldn't wave back because my hands were full with a field recorder and an uh, iPhone. <clears throat> uh, so our initial idea for this podcast is pretty charged. What would a podcast sound like if it were scored by the Radiophonic Workshop, produced by Mark Fisher, directed by David Lynch, mixed by Wintermute, and hosted by the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey? What type of ideas might emerge if we invited people from all different places and times of the world to participate? What new ideas could we expose each other to through this medium? What if it was part sonic collage, part hauntological lunar punk zine, part DJ Mix Fever Dream, part academic forum, part Vox Populi, part weird fungus glowing in the moonlight. Is it possible to sculpt a podcast with a full wholehearted acceptance of all pretentiousness? Can we gleefully poke fun at ourselves? Can we perhaps even create something beautiful? An on-demand liminal non-space you can access everywhere. Well, let's find out. If you have any feedback or ideas, please add us. There's also a whole bunch of the usual platforms we're on. It's a podcast for now everywhere. I'll close with a reading from Wikipedia. The official abbreviation for Coordinated Universal Time is UTC. This abbreviation arose from a desire by the International Telecommunication Union and the International Astronomical Union to use the same abbreviation in all languages. English speakers originally proposed CUT, C-U-T, for Coordinated Universal Time, while French speakers proposed T-U-C for Temps Universel Cordon. The compromise that emerged was UTC, which conforms to the pattern of abbreviations of the variants of Universal Time, UT0, UT1, UT2, UT1R, etc. Welcome to Coordinated Universal Time.